Hello and welcome to another episode of MRCOG videos from ACE courses. My name is Ari Kumarasamy. I am a professor of gynecology at the University of Birmingham, but I'm really excited about this particular episode because I'm shooting it from a small library in a small village called Valalai in the north of Sri Lanka in Jaffna. My parents built a small library and I'm really delighted that I can shoot this video there for you. So this video is about the management of hypertensive patients who are due to have surgery, perioperative management of hypertension. Hypertension is very common. A quarter of the UK adult population have hypertension and over half of the population over the age of 60 have hypertension. Patients with chronic hypertension are at increased risk of cardiovascular complications, stroke, renal dysfunction, and surgical bleeding. Now, hypertension does not have a cause in most patients. However, particularly in young patients, you should consider renal disease, pheochromocytoma, Cushing syndrome, obstructive sleep apnea, and uncommon conditions such as coarctation of the aorta. The key principle in terms of management is to assess the grade of the blood pressure, look for any end organ dysfunction, and optimize the blood pressure and any dysfunction before the patient has the operation. So, you should check urea and electrolytes, check urine for hematuria and proteinuria, perform an ECG, and consider an echocardiogram. In terms of grading the hypertension, you can grade this into stage one, two, or three. Stage one is when the systolic blood pressure is between 140 and 159, or diastolic blood pressure between 90 and 99. Stage two is when the systolic blood pressure is between 160 and 179, or diastolic is between 100 and 109. Stage three is when the blood pressure, systolic blood pressure is more than 180 or diastolic is more than 110. Now stage one and two pose minor risks of complications. And as long as there is no evidence of end organ dysfunction, it is considered reasonable to go ahead with the operation if that is the right thing for the patient. In stage three hypertension, it is thought it would be safer to postpone the operation until the blood pressure is brought under control gradually. The aim of treatment is to optimize the blood pressure so that the systolic is less than 140 and the diastolic is less than 90, ideally for some months before elective surgery. It is important to continue with the antihypertensive treatment in the perioperative period. Antihypertensive drugs should be continued until the day of surgery and should be restarted as soon as the patient tolerates oral intake. If, however, the patient is undergoing emergency surgery and it cannot be postponed, then you can use intravenous antihypertensive drugs to control the blood pressure before surgery. Postoperatively, you should try to minimize hemodynamic instability and avoid triggers of hypertension, such as pain, hypervolemia, and bladder distension. I hope you find this video helpful for your exam and for your clinical practice. Until we meet again on another video, goodbye from Valalai in Jaffna in the north of Sri Lanka.